Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This is a review of the B Rotor Bind and Fly Micro Class Drone. Let's go and take a look what's in the box. Okay, let's take it out. Comes in a nice box. We'll place that over there. Okay, and there's the drone. And inside the box, we've got two batteries which I will tell you a story about the batteries in a moment. Two batteries. The charger that comes with it. Okay, which in the end didn't help whatsoever. And a spare pair of set of props. And your instructions, which gives you the basics. Okay, if we go over to the drone, it's quite a neat little drone. You, you'll see I had to solder another plug on, but we'll go through that in a moment. This button here is used to change the VTX. Now you do a long press of the button to be able to change the band and then a short press to cycle through the eight different frequencies. So it's quite, it's quite actually easy to change the channel on this. Now we go to the, let's have a look at the bottom here. The motors are use plugs so that would be easy to change. I have taken the top off and there looks like it, there is a separate um, FR Sky receiver in there that's taped to the top of this board and then you've got the the camera. To bind it you need to take off the canopy so you have to undo those one two three four screws and you'll see the bind button and then you can bind the quad to your to your radio. It uses uh, FreeSky D8 and it was, it was very easy to set up and bind to the radio. Now, the problem that I came across with the quad was that the, the batteries that came with it, and you'll see there's only one here, there was actually two, they wouldn't charge. I put them onto this charger, the supplied one, I put it onto my charger as well, and they would not take any current. So these are uh, 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 dead batteries. Now I didn't have any other batteries with this type of connector. So I had to solder another connector on and use the batteries uh, from another quad to be able to fly it, which was a, a little bit of a nuisance, but in the long run, it would be better for me because I have a lot of these batteries with this type of connector. So that's a bench look at the, the little drone. The B rotor doesn't come with an on-screen display, an OSD. So you'd need to set a timer up so that you could uh, set your, you know, work out how long your batteries will last so that then you make sure you don't fall out the sky. But with this tiny little drone, even if it does drop out the sky in your house, it's not gonna cause much damage. It only came with angle mode and no arm or disarm mode set up in the beta flight. So I had to go and set that up. So there is a little bit of work to do um, in the in beta flight. Also, I wasn't impressed with the rates. The rates on the pitch was very, very sensitive. So I, I made an adjustment to that. Um, on the battery side of things, I think the 350 milliamp hour batteries that I'm using will last about, say, four minutes. I've, I flew for two minutes and the voltage was only at 3.9. So I think you'll probably get about four, four minutes. Now let's switch over to some flying. Okay, which is going to be expected. There's not a big, big, huge punch out. It's nice and smooth. Holding on about just over half throttle.
In summary, I was slightly disappointed that both of the batteries supplied with the drone were dud. And it was only because I had other batteries here and, and a connector that I could sold on that I could manage to fly the quad. I think if you had no batteries and then received it and couldn't fly it, you'd be quite disappointed. So you need to think about that before you buy it. I am going to contact Banggood and ask them uh, about this. Now, I don't think you'll be able to fly this drone outside. It's not powerful enough. I think the wind would drag it all over the place. Um, it is a nice little cruiser for inside the house and I think it would be good for a beginner to uh, play around with because you're not going to damage anything and you won't damage the quad if you hit things. I did notice that the props came off very easily but then that's not a bad thing because it means you won't break the props. If I compare it to the Eosheen E010S Pro, I think that is almost double the price of this quadcopter but it comes with an OSD. So there's a lot more things you can do with that. But if you're on a very tight budget, I think this quad would be OK. Just I'm just concerned about the batteries that I was supplied that were done. So that would be slightly disappointing. But I'm going to contact Banggood and see if they will, you know, what, what, what they will do about that, whether they will supply me new batteries. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye bye.